No, otro tiempo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Darwin. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Oh my God, I like your shirt. <laughs> yes. I like your shirt, Darwin. Uh, Let's go, Selecta. Yeah, I can see your. I can see you are supporting La Selecta today. Yes. Oh, very nice. More very expecting. Good. expecting a good result. Yes. Oh, I imagine. Very good. And Angela is dressed in blue, too. <laughs> También anda de azul. Yes. He's dressed in blue, too. Anda de azul. Sí. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I am wearing red. Oh, oh my God. Uh, you will imagine I am supporting the United States. <laughs> But I'm, uh, but I'm not supporting the United States, all right? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, let me change my no. shirt. Let me change my shirt for a blue one, okay? <laughs> for a blue shirt. All right, very good. No, we are expecting sure. a good result today. Estamos a la expectativa de un buen resultado, okay? We're expecting a good result. I know a reason. Yes, yes. I think Darwin is going to be like pending of the game, right? Let us know, Darwin, please. <laughs> All right. Hi, Ana Michelle, Ada, and Mayra. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? Very good. Oh, because nice. Because today play. Yes, today we have. Today <laughs> is the big day. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, today is the, the, the big day, right? All right, very good. So uh, we hope to get a good result, for real. I really hope El Salvador wins today. I guess everybody hopes the same, right? Yes, everybody has the same expectations. Yes, very good. Yes, All right. teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Nobody here is supporting the U.S., Good right? Good evening. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Oh, nice. Very good. It's good to see you. Yeah, now more people are getting connected. I was like, oh, my God, I will have no students tomorrow. <laughs> Ahí, pero ahí que nos informen a ver cómo va el resultado, el que lo actualice ahí la, el familiar, ahí que, que nos diga cómo va el partido, ¿ok? El, el husband o, o la wife o or your son. Sí, or your ya, daughter. ya me voy a desconectar, teacher, y ahí le cuento. No, please, no, please. Ahí que nos informen los familiares que les están viendo y actualizan, ¿ok? And you update on the chat. So we know how the score is. Mire ahí, este, mire el... el... The chat. Teacher, ya yeah. vio al aficionado que tenemos aquí en el grupo, ya lo vio. I saw two actually, two fans dressing <laughs> blue today. Darwin. Yeah, Darwin is wearing the the, the selected shirt, and Angela is dressing blue too. Oh, mm -hmm. and Zulma, and Zulma is dressing blue too, right? Yes. Yo yeah. le puedo decir los resultados. <laughs> okay, oh, thank yeah. you, thank you very much. You're Ahí está. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for updating this course. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me pass the attendance quickly then, and we start. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Ada? Present teacher. Okay. Just let me do something quickly here. Okay. So Ada said present, right? Very good. So Adam, Adriana? Ana Michelle? Present. Very good. Angela? Present teacher. Asalia? Present. Darwin? Present teacher. Very good. Flor? <clears throat> Gloria? Here. Excellent. Carla? Margarita? Aira Melanie? Present. All right, excellent. Miguel? 
Miguel. Ah, ya veo que Miguel se la toma en serio. De aquí va a ir a ver la selecta, creo yo. Ajá. All right, Nelson. En el estadio de estar. Present. Yes. Present. Ofelia. Here, teacher. All right, very good. Osmin. Present, teacher. Very good. Good evening. Good evening. Rafa. Present, teacher. Okay. Rosa. Rosa. Okay, Sandra. Jansi. Present, teacher. All right, very good. I didn't see Jansi yesterday. You didn't get connected yesterday, right, Jansi? No, right. You were not in no. class. No, okay. No, no, sorry. Okay, Sulma? Present. All right, very good. Edwin? <clears throat> Ingrid? Lourdes? Present, teacher. Oscar? Present. And Susana? I think she's not connected, right? Okay. Okay, very good. Um, so uh, for today, um, we are going to have a, a, a uh, to start, uh, we are going to have a pronunciation activity, okay? And then we are going to have a vocabulary activity. And after that, we start with unit number uh, three, right? With unit number three, which is about procedures of human resources, okay? So, but let's start with activity number one, which is pronunciation, okay? Activity number one is pronunciation, all right? So if you remember, um, yesterday uh, you read uh, something about um, a schedule of a restaurant manager, yes? We read some information about a restaurant, um, a restaurant manager, okay? Good, now listen. <clears throat> I will pronounce the article for you and you pay attention, all right? I will pronounce slowly. So please, if necessary, take notes about the vocabulary that is difficult for you to pronounce and we check in a moment, okay? So right now, please listen and pay attention to pronunciation, okay? So please, pay attention carefully. Can you see? Samira, can you see? Yes. 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 yes, teacher. All right, very good. So let's get started. <clears throat> 9.30 a.m. Open the black, sorry, I will start again. 9.30 a.m. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Vayan revisando el que sea difícil pronunciar para ustedes y luego lo discutimos and we discuss later, okay? 9.40 a.m. Walk around kitchen, check temperatures in all coolers and freezers. 9.50 a.m. Create schedule for servers and buzzers with chores that need to be done in their shifts individually. 10 a.m. Servers start to clock in. 10, 10 a.m. Turn on all the lights and sound system. 10.30 a.m. Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with the employees and we talk about what their scheduled chores for the day, right? So let's go to 10.50 a.m. 10.50 a.m. Everyone clocks back in and start working again. 10.55 a.m. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. 11 a.m. Go to the kitchen and check temperatures of ready to eat foods and get samples to taste. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Greet guests, run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. Let's go to 2 p.m., all right? Let's go to 2 p.m. 2 p.m., clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in charge. 4 p.m., clock in, break is over. 4, 5 p.m., Check food temperatures again, as well as coolers and freezers temps. 4.10 p.m. Make schedule for second shift, servers and buzzers. 
kitchen head cook handles his team. 4.30 p.m. Second shift staff start to clock in. 5 to 9 p.m. Greet guests, talk to people, etc., etc. Don't have to run the register in the evenings. Have a part-time cashier in the clock from 5 to 9 p.m. That way I focus on more important things. 9.30 p.m. We start to do side work. I supervise everyone gets done right. 10 p.m. Turn the open sign off and clock the front door and clock the front door. Lock, sorry, and lock the front door. 10, 10 p.m. Enter the credit card tips into the CC processor. All right, now do you have any doubts about specific vocabulary pronunciation? In my case, in 10, 15, 55. 10, 50, 10, 55. 55 uh, sign. A sign. You say open sign. The open sign. Okay. Open sign. Open yeah. sign. Yeah. Sign. Sign is signal. Okay. Sign. The open yeah. sign. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. Very good. No problem. Any other word that is difficult for you to pronounce? Just tell me the time and I check the, the, the word, okay? So we pronounce it together. I repeat, any other word that is difficult for you to pronounce? Teacher. Yes? In my case, night 40. Okay. Line number one. Yeah. Uh, temperature. Temperatures, you say temperatures, 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 all right? Okay. Temperatures. Any other uh, guys, any other word? Teacher, for me in uh, Greece. What time? What, which, which, which time? 11 uh, a.m. To uh, greet. 2 p.m. Greet. Greet. Is a greet. Greet guests. Greet. Greet. Okay. Greet, greet guests. Run register. All right. All right. Any other? And design our teacher defines a 9 p.m. Great. A 9 p.m. Yeah. From 5 to 9 p.m. Five. Five and 9 p.m. Yes. Which Next, word? great. No. A guest, 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 guest. In is and and Sunday is a final. Uh, let me see things on important Get, things. Guest, guest. Uh, In the last line. Al final. <clears throat> night five and nine p.m. Next, the the word the grip grip. Grip is guest. 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 Greet yes. guests, okay? Greet, Greet guests. Guests, guests. Yes, guests. Okay. Any other? At 5.30 p.m. Yes. Second, second sh shift. Okay, let me check. 5.30 p.m. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, I don't, I don't see that one. 5 or 4? 4.30, 4.30. 4.30. Oh, okay. Second shift. Ah, oh, you say shift. second shift. 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 Second shift. Second shift. Start to clock in. Uh -huh. Staff, start to clock in. Second shift. 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 Uh, second shift. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so any other? Or no more? That's enough. Ah, uh, I, I can see Asalia is pointing to some words. Uh, so for this one, is servers, Asalia. Servers. Ambassadors, okay? Servers, ambassadors. Yeah? Yesterday, we talked about the difference between servers and buzzers, right? Okay, so the pronunciation is servers and buzzers, okay? Teacher. Yeah? Um, 940. 940. No, uh, 9, perdón. <laughs> While around kitchen, 
a walk. Check you say walk per, around, tem, walk tem, around tem, kitchen. All right, walk tem, around tem, kitchen. Check temper, tem, temperatures. Check temperatures. temperatures in all coolers in all and freezers. Coolers and freezers. In all coolers freezers. and freezers. Freezers. Okay. Freezers. Okay. Exactly. The difference between coolers and freezers and freezers, sorry, is that coolers obviously are for cooling. All right, only for cold things. Uh, and freezers, I mean, it's different, okay, because they freeze things, okay? So the, the refrigerator has two parts, the cooler and the freezer, okay? Very good. So do we have any other word? No more words? No more words. In my case, in 940, the yeah. word shorts. Shorts. 940 a.m. No, 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 no. Sorry, in nine fifty. Oh, nine fifty. Yes, sure. Ah, with cho chores. Chores. Okay. Bathers with chores. 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 Okay. Yeah. All right. Around Asalia. Walk around. Okay. Walk around. All right. Very good. So, uh, this reading is on page number uh twenty seven. All right. This reading is on page number 27, all right? So the idea in this moment is to pronounce, okay? Focus on pronunciation, only pronunciation, okay? Nothing else, only pronunciation. So please, in pairs, take turns. For example, uh, one person pronounces one time and the other person pronounces the other time. And when you finish, you switch. Cuando termine, cambian roles. You switch roles, okay? Any question? No questions? No. no question. Okay, so, I have 20 so. people. I have 19 people connected. Uh, Ophelia, I think is, yeah, is, she's connected. Ingrid, are you going to participate? Ingrid, hello. Oscar, are you going to participate in the activity? Rafael? Yes, teacher. All right, Oscar, he didn't. All right, very good. So let's make them eight uh, pairs, all right. In case you have no pair, ask for help, please, okay? All right, so let's go to practice pronunciation. Osmin, ah, pues, ah, pues sigamos nosotros, si gusta Nelson. Ok. Eh, 9.15 9 a.m. Create a schedule for servers and, and buses, which chore does need to be done in day shifts individually. Ok. 10 a.m. Servers start to clock in. 10 10 yeah. Tour on tour on are the line on some system. 10 30 a.m. Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees. And we talk about what their schedule chores for the day. 10 15 a.m. Yeah. Everyone clocks back in 
and start working again. 10.55 a.m. Open the front door and turn on the open sign. 11 a.m. Go to, go to the go to chicken and check temperature of ready to eat food and get sample to taste. Okay. Uh, 11 to 2 p.m. Greet guest, wrong register, maybe wrong some food and help a server that gets behind. 2 p.m. Cloud out and got home. Assistant manager stays in chair. 4 p.m. Clock in, break it on the open sign. 11 o'clock I am go to the kitchen and check tem temperatures 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 uh -huh. of ready to eat food and get samples to taste okay 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. greet guests Run registers, run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. 2 p.m. clock out and go home. Assistant manager stays in church. Okay. 4 p.m. clock in. Break is over. For uh, 5 p.m. Check food. Mm -hmm. the, 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 what, how do you say? Temperatures. Tempera temperatures. Uh -huh. Check food temperatures. Again, as well as colors and freezer temps. Okay, 40, 10 p.m. For, for 10 p.m. Uh -huh. Make a schedule for second shift. Servers and buzzers. Kitchen head cook handles his team. 4, 30 p.m. Second shift staff starts to clock in. Okay. 5 to 9 p.m. Greet guests. Talk to people. Talk to people, etc., etc. Don't have to run the register. Yeah. That way I focus on more important things. 9.30 p.m. We start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. 10 p.m. Turn the open, see, and look front door. Front, no, pardon. Look the front door. 10, 10 p.m. Enter credit cards tips into the CC processor. Okay. Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And Rafael. <laughs> no. <laughs> you can do it. I think he's. Sorry. Oh yeah. Rafael, can are you, you going to participate? Yes. Can you share the conversation, please? Or the reading. Page 27. Uh, yeah. mm. Nice. I work. I everything. 
Okay. No se ve la de la nine thirty. Ah, okay. Then I start. You. Yes. Okay. Nine thirty a.m. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Next. 9.30 p.m. Work around kitchen. Check temperatures in all coolers and freezers. 9.50 a.m. Great schedule for servers and buzzers with chores that need to be done in their shift individually. Glorita. Individually. Hello? Individually. In, individually. Yes, individually. Okay, 10 a.m. Server start clocking. 10 10 a.m. 10 10 a.m. Turn on all the lights and sound system. 10.30 a.m. Everyone clocks up and have a quick lunch along with employees and we talk about what their schedule short for the day. 10.15 a.m. Everyone clocks back, back in and start working again. And five, five, five yes. p.m. Open yes. the front door and yes. turn on the open sink. Eleven a.m. Go to the chicken. Go to the kitchen and check the temperatures of ready to eat food, food and get sample to taste. Fifty-five. Uh, 11 uh, a.m. and 2 p.m. Great work. Wrong and sister. May be wrong. Some food and help a server that get behind. 11 a.m. Go to the kitchen and check temperature of ready to look cool. And 2 p.m. Clock out and Kuhan, assistant manager, stays in shark. Four PM clocking break is over. Four five uh, PM check food temperature again as well as cooler and freezer temps. Four ten PM make schedule for second shift servers and boosters. Kitchen here cook handless his thing. His thing. Four, five, For yeah. 30 p.m. Second shift staff start to clock in. It's full center to again. Five and night well full p.m. Great west. So the people etc. 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 Don't have to run the register in the evening. Have a part time pressure in the clock from five and night. That way, I focus on more important things. 9 30 p.m. We start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. 10 p.m. Turn, turn the open sign off and look the front door. Okay, 10 and 10 p.m. Uh, enter credit card chip into the PC processor. 
and get samples to taste. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Great guest room register maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. 2 p.m. clock out and go home. Assistant manager state in change. 4 p.m. clock clocking break is over. Break is over. 4 5 p.m. check full temperatures again as well as coolers and freezer stems. For 10 p.m. make a schedule for second shift, servers and bossers, kitchen heat cook handles his team. For 30 p.m. second shift staff start to clock in. 5 to 9 p.m. Okay, everyone, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to practice pronunciation, all right? So uh, we will have some of you to pronounce, okay? So I will go pointing you, so please be alert, okay? Be paying attention because I will say, for example, Asalia, uh, 5.30 p.m., Rosa, 9 p.m., blah, 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 all right? So please be, uh, stay paying attention, all right? Stay focused, get in some focal, stay focused. All right, let, let, me, let me share the, the reading so you... You can look at the screen. All right, let's start with, um, okay, let me see here. Okay, so we start with 9.30 a.m., all right? So uh, let's see, um, Asalia, it's your turn. Number one. 9.30, yeah, 9.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., the rest listen. 9.30 a.m., open the back kitchen door, so kitchen staff can start working. Thank you very much. Uh, Nelson, 9.40 a.m. 9.40 a.m. Work around kitchen. Check temperature in our cooler and freezer. All right, you say coolers or coolers? What is correct? Cooler. Coolers, cooler. all right. Cooler. Coolers, coolers and freezers. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Uh, Lourdes, you continue with 9.50 a.m. 9.50 a.m., <clears throat> sorry. Create a schedule for servers and bossers with chores that need to be done in their shift individually. Okay, very good. Uh, shifts individually. Thank you very much. Uh, now let's continue with um, Angela. Okay. 10 a.m., Angela. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Servers start to clock in. All right, continue with 10, 10 a.m. Continue. Uh, 10 a.m. to run all the light and second system. Second or sound? Sound, excuse ah. me. No, it's okay, no problem. <laughs> sound system. Sound, right. sound. Sound system. All right, very yes. good. Continue, please, Rosa. 10.30. 10.30 a.m. Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees. And we talk about what they schedule chores for the day. Sorry, repeat the last part. Schedule chores. Schedule chores for the day. For the day, exactly. Okay. So, uh, Jancy, you continue with uh, 10:50. Uh, 10 a.m. Uh, Everyone clocks out and have a quick lunch along with employees. Continue with 10:55. At 10.55 a.m., open the front door and turn on, turn on the open sign. Very good. Uh, floor, 11 a.m. Floor, hello, 11 a.m. Boy, 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 boy. All right. <laughs> 11 a.m., go to the kitchen and check temperature. Temperatures of ready to eat food and get samples to taste. All right, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um, let's see, Mayra, you continue with 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 to 2 a.m., sorry. 11 to 2 p.m. <laughs> 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. 
greet guests, run register, maybe run some food and help a server that gets behind. Very good, that's excellent. Don't pay attention to vocabulary in this moment, okay? We have a vocabulary activity, don't worry. Okay, Osmin, 2 p.m. Okay, 2 p.m. Clock out and Wuhan assistant managers stay in charge. Very good, that's excellent. Uh, continue please, Anna Michelle. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Osmin, thank you, Osmin. Uh, continue, Anna Michelle, please. 4 p.m. and 4, 5 p.m. Okay, 4 p.m. Clocking, break is over. 4 to 5 p.m. Check food temperatures again, as well as coolers and freezer stamps. Thank you very much. 4 10 p.m. Ada Patricia. Este, 4 10 p.m. Make a schedule for second shift service in Boxer Kitchen. He cook handles his team. Okay, thank you very much. Continue, Gloria. I can see you're next to Ada. So continue with 4 uh, 30 p.m. please. Uh, 4 30 p.m. Second shift start, start to clock in. To clock in. Okay, thank you very much. Darwin, 5 to 9 p.m. 5 to 9 p.m. Great work. Talk to people, etc., etc. Don't hate to room the register in the evening. Have a part time cashier in the in the club from five to nine. That way, I focus on more important things. All right, that's excellent. All right, let me see who's missing here. Let me see who's missing here. Oh, lower this, please. Continue. Okay, nine thirty p.m. We start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. Okay, that's good. Sulma, carry on, please. 10 p.m., turn the open sign off and lock the front door. All right, continue. Finish with 10, 10 p.m. 10, 10 p.m., enter credit card tips into the CC processor. All right, that's amazing. Thank you very much. All right, now, as you can see in the reading, we have different vocabulary, right? We have different new vocabulary, okay? So look, I will give you around seven minutes, all right? I will check the time. I will give you seven minutes. And in seven minutes, I want you to read again and check new vocabulary and the translation, okay? Check new vocabulary and the translation and write it on your notebook. And write it on your notebook, okay? Van a buscar nuevo vocabulario, lo van a escribir en su cuaderno y lo van a traducir. The idea is to discuss the vocabulary in groups in a moment, okay? So please, let's take seven minutes to check new vocabulary in the same reading, in la misma lectura, in the same reading, okay? Seven minutes. So check the new vocabulary in the translation, please, all right? Or the definition. Okay, let's take seven minutes. Is, uh, sure. yeah? Uh, el, el modelo es el mismo que vamos a ver, ¿no? It's the same reading, la misma lectura, the same reading. Okay. okay, thank you. Yeah, you are checking only new vocabulary in the translation for you, right? And probably this vocabulary is going to be new for your classmates, okay? The idea is to share later. La idea es que compartamos ese vocabulario y lo discutamos luego, okay? How is the match, Darwin? Como va el partido, Darwin? How is the match? Zero, zero. Zero, zero. Please let us know. Inform us. 
actualizanos, informas, please. <laughs> okay, we, okay. we want to know the score too, okay? Cuando caiga un gol, nos avisas. You let us know, okay. please, all right? Cuando caiga un gol, este, lo presente aquí, por favor. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> the motion is big. I imagine. <laughs> New look, my little. <laughs> no.
Ok, I gave you seven minutes. Uh, do you need more time? Necesitan un poquito más de tiempo? Do you need more time? Yeah, ok, I'll give you then uh, three more minutes, ok? Tres minutos más, porque la lectura es larga. Three more minutes, ok? Thank you. Okay, I gave you uh, three more minutes. Uh, it's okay with the vocabulary. With the vocabulary you have, okay, we are going to go in groups, and the idea is that you share the vocabulary with your classmates. Okay, for example, you say "clock in," "entrar," okay, and you share, and you see if you have the same translation or the same definition. Okay, revisan si tienen la misma palabra, la misma traducción, la misma definición. Okay, so the idea is to get familiarized with new vocabulary. Okay, yeah. Any question? No, for this we are going no, to work in groups. Questions. Okay, so please uh, take turns to share. Tomen turno para compartir, take turns to share, okay? So let's go to working groups. I will give you like four or five minutes for this activity, okay? Okay, let me make five teams. Goodness, yeah. Okay, so let's go then. Let's go to chair.
Hi, Osmin. Don't you have a group, Osmin? What teacher? Excuse me. Don't you have a group? No, no, no aparece en ningún equipo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, eh, shorts. Schedule, schedule short is like uh, agendar las tareas. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Schedule o, short. O programar las tareas. Programar las tareas. Uh -huh. Schedule short. Uh -huh. um, Lo que sí no encontré fue bowsers. Bowsers. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. We don't have a translation no. for buzzers. Uh -huh, no, I actually, I, I was, I was checking uh, for a translation. I, I, I mean, I know the word in English, but I was, I, I wanted to know a translation in Spanish. But actually, mm -hmm. for buzzers, we don't have a translation. But the intention of the word is that, like buzzers, they are like similar to waiters, but there's a little difference. Buzzers clean the tables and prepare the tables only. Okay, buzzers clean uh -huh. and prepare the tables. And waiters serve the food, okay, and take orders. Yeah. Okay. That's the difference. Uh, but we don't have. I, I, I. We don't have a translation for this in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, teacher, I, I was, I was uh, telling Lobo this that yeah? close out, close, clocks out, and clocks in is a phrasal verb. Uh, it means uh, wow. the first, the close out. And to work and close okay. in, begin to work. Can exactly. I say? Can I say? Or can I use it saying I close? I clock out at six p.m. Yes, the time yeah. you finish work. The time you finish ah, work uh -huh. or your shift. Especially, chip. especially by punch by punching a time clock. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay. When I punch my car at work, can I say I clock in? At, at 7 a.m. Exactly. And I it's clock like, out at 6 oh, okay. Or when you do it with your finger, okay? Because uh -huh, in some companies in you face, do it with your in finger. My, in, in, my, in my case, in my face. Yeah. <laughs> That's clock yeah. in or clock out. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I clock in. Okay. Um, other word? Uh -huh. Servers. Servidores, ¿verdad? Yeah. Servers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Servers, but in that case, servers the restaurant. <laughs> yes, yes. Because it's como mes, like meseros, waiters. Uh, but mm -hmm. be, because servers is used to machines, no? Servers. For computers. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. For computers. Ah, computers. For technology. Uh -huh. For technology. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. It's agua. Water. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> the first time. Okay. Other words, Ada. Eh. Other words, sería shorts. Tarea. What's the time? Um, ya les digo. En eh, nine nine fifty a.m. Nine fifty a.m. is create schedule for server and browser with shorts. Ah, ok, ok. Y Sketchum es, es calendario, ¿no? Como horario. Ah, como horario. horario. In, this, in this case, as a, as a verb, is calendarizar. A verb is calendarizar. Ah, okay. O planear, you can say, alright? As a verb, como un verbo, as a verb. Oh. 
Schedule. Schedule. Planear las tareas. Oh, okay. Planear las tareas. Schedule chores. Planear. Okay. Agendar. Okay. 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 Joaquín oh, está en las 10.50 a.m. 10.50 a.m. Dice, everyone clocks Joaquín. Ah, ya. Yeah. Everyone clocks. Back in. Ok, everyone clocks back in. Ajá. Y eso significa. Yo encontré como. Como todo el mundo poner los relojes en. En eh, sintonía. Ajá, algo así. Uh, when you say uh, hello, uh, when you say everyone clocks ban back in, uh, what you want to uh, what, what it means is uh, like everybody comes back to work. Todos regresan a trabajar. Everybody clocks back in. Como que todos se registran para regresar al trabajo. Can be after lunch. Uh, that's the idea. So clock okay. in is like entrar a trabajar o registrarse para trabajar. Okay, clock in. O marca, marca. Marcar, marcar, we can say. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Um, la otra que encontré que fue cashier, que es cajero o cajera. Y de. Ah, también busqué. Shift, y shift la, es cambio. ¿El qué? ¿Cuál era la otra? Eh, salía y encontró poco. ¿Poco? Yeah, focus is enfocarse, Gloria, is correct. Okay. Uh -huh. It's is enfocarse, focus. Focus is correct. Focus. But you pronounce focus. Okay, focus. Focus. And shift as alia can be turno. Ok, tú, o cambio, turno, all right? Shift, can be turno o cambio, ok? Ah, cambio, cambio de, de turno, ah, no de cambio de money. No, 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 it's, it's about turno, ok, shift. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, teacher, este, buzzers. Buzzers doesn't have a translation in Spanish, ok? But the idea of buzzers is that... Uh, They are like similar to waiters with the difference that buzzers, they clean and prepare the tables. Okay. They clean and prepare the tables. Okay. okay. But we don't have, but we don't have a, we don't have a Spanish translation for this. Okay. Eh, Solmita la encontró y se limpia mesas. Limpia mesas. Oh my God. Thank you, Sulma. Yo no, yo la estoy buscando como loco y no la encontré. I didn't find it. Uh, es que no, no, aparece. Like no, 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 no aparece. No, no aparece. Ah, but that's the idea. Limpia mesa, sí, es ok. Sí, ok. Ok. Teacher, yo busqué handles. Yes, and what, what did you find? Cuando le pongo. Cuando le pongo. Maneja. No. Maneja. Sí, Ajá, yeah. es como resolver. Manejar. Handle a situation, for example. Manejar una situación. Handle a situation. Ah, okay. It's ah, like manage. Situación. Ajá, handle is synonym to manage. Ok. Ok, maneja yeah. situación, no de manejar vehículos. No, 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 it's, that's different. That's different. Okay. Ajá, ok. Sí. Súper bueno. Es que es un montón de texto. 
<risa> sí. Y ocupa palabras que tradicionalmente o, o, o en el día a día no, no utilizamos. Ajá. I strongly agree. Totalmente de acuerdo. I strongly agree. <laughs> All right. So did you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Let's go back then to the main session. I was just waiting for you. Okay. Okay. Right. Gracias, Mayra y Michelle. <laughs> ya saben. Bueno, ya saben. Bye. 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 Okay, let's wait for the others to, to come back to the main session, all right? There's a lot of new vocabulary, right? Hay bastante nuevo vocabulary. There's a lot of new vocabulary. Yes, a very interesting vocabulary, by the way. Teacher, one, one question. Yes, tell me, Mayra. Por qué? ¿Por qué para la palabra buzzers no hay una traducción tal cual? I think it was, Zulma found a translation. I, I'm not sure if it's correct. I'm not sure really because I didn't find a translation. But Zulma found one translation. What is the translation you have, Zulma, for buzzers? No, nosotros decíamos que era como limpia mesas. Ah, okay. So the, they, they infer it, that is limpia mesas. Uh -huh. Sí. That's the idea, actually. That's the idea of buzzers. Uh -huh. Ajá. Nosotros encontramos como una persona que limpia mesas en un restaurante o cafetería, uh -huh. pero no yeah. hay una traducción, o sea, a una palabra. Entonces nos yeah. pareció extraño. Yes, uh, uh, that's what I was telling some groups that actually we, uh, I was, I know the word, right? I know buzzers, okay? I know the word, but I don't know a translation for buzzers. And before the class, Well, before yesterday, I was checking for a translation. And actually, I didn't find any translation. No encontré ninguna traducción. I didn't find any translation. So I, I think you say buzzers in English and buzzers in Spanish. Buzzers, okay? And the idea is that, the idea is that, that buzzers uh, clean tables, retire dirty ditches, all right? That's the idea of buzzers. Mm -hmm. okay. They prepare the tables for the next people coming to the restaurant, okay? Okay. That's the idea. Okay, that's the main idea. I mean, I, I feel that uh, the translation is not important if you have the idea. La traducción no es importante si tienen la idea de lo que a lo que se refiere, perdón. Okay, what it is referred to. Okay, so that's the most uh, important here. All right, very good. Uh, so thank you very much. I imagine you have a lot of new vocabulary now. All right, you have vocabulary like clock in, clock out, buzzers servers okay what did you find in clock in what is clock in entrar entrar okay can be entrar or registrarse okay clock in uh, to start work okay clock in is to start work and what is clock out clock out reloj automático no no ah exactly when you leave work So when you, yes. you clock out, when you finish work. These are verbs, Osmin. Son verbos, Osmin. They are verbs. Okay, so clock out is to finish work. Okay, to finish work. So you can say, for example, I clock out at 5 p.m. I don't know what time you clock out, okay? But in my case, I clock out at 12, all right? At 12 noon, all right? At noon, all right? I don't know you, right? So clock out is to finish work, okay? Good. So, uh, many any vocabulary that was difficult for you? Algún vocabulario que en el que tuvieron dificultad? Any vocabulary that was difficult? Uh -huh. Aha, part-time cashier. Uh, a part-time cashier. What is cashier? Aha, cashier. Cajera. Cajera, cajero. Part-time is like Part medio tiempo. Cajera, medio tiempo. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Part-time is medio tiempo. Okay. And full-time is tiempo completo, you know, right? Yeah. Okay, any other word that was difficult for you? Maybe? No? For example, teacher, the word hey. Sorry? Other word is taste. Taste. Degustar. 
degustar, exactly, taste. Taste is degustar, okay? For example, you can say, I tasted the food before I serve. For example, chefs, they taste the food sometimes before they serve, okay? Taste, it's like degustar. Mm -hmm. Probar, decimos nosotros, right? We taste the food, okay? Taste. That's the, taste. Oh. Degustar. Yeah. Degustar, exactly. Ajá, probar, probar algo. Probar Ajá. algo. Ajá. Es que We say no, probar. Pensé que era... <laughs> no, no, that's okay. okay. Ajá. That's okay. Degustar, probar algo. Yeah. Food, talking I'd about like, food. Like, um, teacher. Yeah. Taste. Taste. Yo no le, no le, taste no le encontraba solita. Le tuve que poner manager taste para que mm. me dijera el gerente se queda. Ah, I, I mean, but that's another one. Stay is another one. Stay is quedarse. No, we are saying taste. Taste. The, the word we are discussing is taste. taste. Taste, but the one you are saying is stay. It's different, okay? Stay. stay. Es que este... Quedarse. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Stay is quedarse. Okay, stay. Okay, very good. So any other word? That's it. No more. No? Okay, before we go to the next activity, Darwin, ¿cómo va el partido? No nos has actualizado. <laughs> Darwin, hello. How is the match? Hello. Está concentrado escuchando el partido. <laughs> <laughs> Él está en la clase, teacher, se le olvidó el partido. 0-0. 0-0. Ok, 0-0. Ok, thank you, Darwin. Thank you very much. Ok. Very good. So let's continue. Let's continue with, uh, with the class then. And for the next part, uh, we will start uh, with the new unit. Ok. And the, the new unit, the new unit's name is, let me show it to you here. Uh, it's, um, hold on a second, I have a problem here. Okay, so the new unit's name is HR Procedures. HR Procedures, okay? Did it's you like, have... yes? Check attender. Oh yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, I was about to, thank you. Okay, so HR Procedures are Procedimientos de Recursos Humanos, HR Procedures. Okay, thank you very much for, I was very excited like, I didn't want to stop, all right. Very good, so let me pass the attendance. Thank you very much. Ada? Present. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Very good. Azalia? Present. Very good. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria. Gloria. Here. Ah, ok. Margarita. Oh, sorry, Carla. Sorry, Carla. Carla? All right. Margarita? Either. Mayra? Present. Miguel? Nelson? Present. Ofelia? Here, teacher. All right. Osmin? Present, teacher. Rosa? Present. Good. Sandra? Sandra? I think Sandra was connected, right? I don't, I'm not sure. Se, se está, estaba conectada, Sandra, no recuerdan. I think she was connected. No. Or it was my imagination. Okay. Jansi? Present. And Sulma? Present. Very good. Edwin? Ingrid? Hello, Ingrid. She's connected, but she's. Voy a ver. Let me see something. No, uno. Sorry? Uno, uno. Okay, let's see. Um, Lourdes? Here, teacher. Oscar? And Susana. Okay, very good. So now let's go to the next activity. So I was saying, right, the name of unit number uh, three is HR procedures or human resources procedures, okay? Now, what procedures uh, do you think 
happen in human resources? What procedures happen in human resources? What do you know? ¿Qué saben? What do you know? Hire employees. They hire employees, exactly. What else? Make the payroll. They make the payrolls, that's right. Or, or they prepare the checks. All right, they very good. Checks. They, yeah, they make checks. What else? They interview new staff. Exactly, they interview new, new employees or new staff. Very good, what else? They prepare um, when when it's holiday time. They prepare the party. That's right. They prepare parties. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they see days off or vacation, right? They see days yes. off or vacation too. Yeah. Yes. Um. What else? What else? Come on. Fire. What else? They fire oh employees. Goodness. They fire employees. <laughs> The hardest one. Yeah, they fire employees, all right? It's a very hard work, right? To fire, an, I mean, in my case, I, I wouldn't like to work in human resources because it would be really difficult for me to fire an employee. So uh, I think the job I don't like to, uh, I wouldn't like to have is in human resources, like firing employees, no, all right? That's too much for me. Very good. So what other uh, tasks do they do at human resources? Only that? How do you say? What? How do you say? <clears throat> Rosa, how do you say? Okay, how do you say they ex extend constancias? How do you say? Letters. 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 Okay. They extend letters. 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 Okay, good. Yeah. That's excellent. Uh, what else? Only that? Uh, All right. Uh, procedure yeah. about trainings. Mm, that's right. They plan uh, trainings. Exactly. They plan trainings for the staff. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, uh, in the first activity, let me show you the PPT here. I have a PowerPoint presentation. So <clears throat> it's related to this one. Okay. So in the first um, activity, please um, answer this question. Okay. What do you know about the human resource department in your company, right? About your company in this case. What do you know? Make a list. And you can start the answers like this. What I know about human resources is that they are in charge of, and then you say the, the, the verb, okay? Or you can say, what I know about human resources is that they hire new employees, for example, okay? Es básicamente lo que les estaba preguntando, but this time you need to write the, the answers, okay? So please write like three, um, three things they do. Escriban alrededor de tres cosas. And use what I know, okay? What I know about human resources is that, blah, blah, blah. What I know about human resources is that they, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so use this structure. Usemos esta estructura. Okay, let's answer the question.
Uh, so at the moment uh, you practice, uh, you will say the, the question is, what do you know about HR department in your company? All right, that's the question. What do you know about the HR department in your company? When you answer the question, you will say, for example, what I, what I know about human resources is that they are in charge of hiring employees, uh, preparing trainings or planning trainings, for example, and you continue, right? Or, or you can say, uh, what I know about human resources is that they hire new employees, uh, they plan trainings, uh, they fire employees, uh, they make the payrolls, okay? So that, that's the way you will start your answer. De esa manera van a empezar su respuesta, okay? That's how you will start your answer, okay? So I'll give you, um, do you need more time? Necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time? Yeah? Yeah. Yes, okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Dos minutos más, two more minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So uh, I guess at least uh, you must have uh, two things that they do at human resources, right? Or two tasks that they do at human resources, okay? Uh, so the idea right now is that we go and share first, okay? First you go and share with your group and then you come and share with the class, okay? For this, because I want everybody to practice this in this part, I will make groups of three approximately, okay? So please ask the question and take turns, okay? And take turns answering the questions. I will give you like three minutes for this activity, okay? So let's go to practice.
are departments in your company, Anna Michel? Well, in my case, what I know about human resources is that they are in charge of hire new employees. They help with the proper documentation when they need to do any type of banking procedure. And they make the payrolls and they do trainings for the employees. Okay, thank you, Okay, in, in my company, uh, Department of Human Resources, hire new employees, um, planes. Johnson. Yes. Okay. Uh, human story is Okay, in my case, human resource is in share in chair of hearing staff. In this chair, schedule the training. In this chair, to extend the salary certificate, is responsible for sending payment receipts to coordinate vacation dates and coordinator overtime date. Uh, don't yes, forget, uh, hello, hello, sorry, sorry for the interruption. Okay. Uh, don't forget that if you are using in charge of, all the verbs you are using are with ing, okay? I'm in charge of scheduling, uh, trainings, scheduling with ing, okay? All the verbs after in charge of are with ing, okay? Todos los verbos que siguen in charge of van con ing, okay? Scheduling, planning, uh, hiring, okay? Okay, Nelson, and everybody, right? And everybody, okay? Continue. Okay, okay. is that? Yes, is that? Teacher, yeah. the in charge of, can I say archivar? Filing. In charge of. Archive, como archivar. Eh, el expediente de los empleados. You better say file. Jancy, file. Okay. File is the best verb for this. Filing. In charge of filing documents. Uh, filing. Filing, uh, filing okay. documents. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. All right. So did you finish? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go back to the main session then. Okay, let's wait for the others to come back because some uh, some students are still practicing. Okay, so let's wait for them. They're coming back right now. Okay, very good. Uh, so I guess everybody practice uh, the questions, right? Okay, let's listen to two participations only for this activity. Everybody practice, right? But let's listen to two participations, okay? Uh, a boy and a girl, okay? A boy and a girl. So let's listen to, oh, we have, we only have Darwin, Nelson, and Osmin, right? And Rafael, but I think he's doing something different right now. 
or are you still there, Rafa? <laughs> All right, so let's listen to uh, Nelson. All right, Nelson. So uh, can you please answer the question? The, micro, the microphone, Nelson, the microphone. So the question is, what do you know about the HR department in your company? Nelson? In your company, okay. Yeah. Um, my company, uh, Human Resource, is chair of hearing staff. Okay. Uh, is in chair of schedule, the training. Uh, is in chair of extending the salary certificate. Okay. Uh, coordinator vacation date. Is that? Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent, Nelson. So please, everybody, go to reactions and let's give, let's give Nelson thumbs up. Go to reactions and give, let's give Nelson thumbs up, okay? You can go to reactions so you can do it like with your hand, okay? All right, thank you very much, Nelson. Good, so let's listen to a girl. Uh, let's listen to um, Ophelia. All right, Ophelia. Um, what do you know about HR in your company? I was in coordination, is administration, is coordination, coordination, and horarios, schedules, schedules, horarios, schedules, in in documentation, the personal, finish. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Okay, so please everyone go to reactions and give thumbs up for uh, Ophelia. Okay, thank you very much, Ophelia. <clears throat> thank you for your participation. All right, very good. Now uh, in the next activity, I guess everybody practice, right? So thank you. Okay, uh, so in the next activity, uh, we have, as always in every content, we have conversations, right? Yeah, so but this time this conversation is um okay hold on a second okay so it's about a person looking for two employees okay uh at rc company all right and we have the conversation take two minutes and read the conversation and i will ask you some questions okay so take two minutes and read the conversation right now read for comprehension okay I will ask you some questions after the two minutes, okay? El portero detuvo un gol. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. The score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Thank you very much. Gracias a Dios que detuvo el gol, el portero, right? Thanks God. Pero ¿cuál portero? <laughs> Mario. Oh, really? Our yes. goalkeeper. Nuestro portero, our goalkeeper. Yes. yes. Okay. <clears throat> oh. 
All right, are you ready for the equations? Yeah. Okay, please, if you have, uh, in case you have the answers, please raise your hand before you answer. Okay, vayan a reacciones y levantan la mano. Okay, go to reactions and raise your hand if you have the answer for my questions, okay? So let's see equation number one. Um, okay, so question number one is, uh, who is um, Miss Chavez? Who is Miss Chavez? All right, let's see Mayra. Mayra, who is Miss Chavez, Mayra? She is the recruit recruitment coordinator. Very good, she is the recruitment coordinator, all right? Recruitment, okay, recruitment. Recruitment okay. coordinator. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayra. Lower your hand, please. Okay, thank you. Second question. Um, what are Miss Chavez's responsibilities? What are Miss Chavez's responsibilities? Sulma. All right. So what are her responsibilities? Provides recruiting administrative report support, support and for the team of recruiters. All right, very good. So the, the, the her duties are uh, to provide a support, administrative support for the team of recruiters. Thank you very much. That's excellent, okay? Lower your hand, thank you. Question number three, uh, who is Mr. Salgado? Who is Mr. Mateo Salgado? All right, let's listen to Lourdes. All right, Lourdes. Good morning, Magnet Consulting. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, so, Lourdes, do you have the same answer? Yes. Yes. All right. So, he is uh, the talent management consultant. How do you say this in Spanish? Talent management consultant. How do you translate this into Spanish? Eh, gerente consultor de talento. Mm -hmm. What do you consultor think? Consultor de gestión de talentos. Ah, exactly. Ah. Consultor de gestión uh -huh. de talentos. De I talentos. like it. Ah. Yes. Consultor de gestión de talentos. Excellent. Administrativo. Exactly. Okay. The last question. The last question. What does, uh, what time does Mateo return? What time does Mateo return or come back? Okay, Lourdes. What time does uh, Mateo return? He returns at eight o'clock. Okay, at that's right. one o'clock. Oh, one o'clock. Yeah. One o'clock. Okay, thank you very much. Sorry. Sorry. And I was saying, and I was saying, okay, very, and I was saying, okay, very good, very good. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, okay, let's see. Now, please pay attention to the pronunciation of the conversation. Okay, and you do it in a moment. So pay attention carefully, please. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock, all right? I will do it again for you. So listen again, please. Excuse me, I am looking for Ms. Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, she is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, very good. So basically, I will give you, I will give you only three minutes, okay? So in three minutes, in pairs, you will practice the conversation, okay? Only practice the conversation, okay? And help each other in pronunciation, okay? So let's go and practice. In pairs, I said, right? So I will make groups of, hey, um, I will make pairs, sorry. Okay, let me see, let me recreate the pairs. Okay, let's go. Let's go to practice.
Okay. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And can you tell me about her responsibility? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. recruiters. I understand. And that's Mr. Salgado. Work here. What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent, talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Yeah, so. I start. Excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Salgado. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? The recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I teach him? He returns at 1 o'clock. Okay, um, I, I start. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I am looking for Mr. Chavez. Can you tell me who is she? Who she is? Angela. Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Angela? We don't hear you, Angela. No se escucha, we don't hear you. Amen. <laughs> Basically, she provide recruiting administrative support for the team of the recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay. Vamos a salir. Sí. Bueno, lo repetimos. Sí. Okay. Okay. Usted dice. Perdón, excuse me. Creo que el... Okay, everyone, very good. Uh, thank you for practicing the conversation, okay? Uh, now listen, uh, for this, um, next, uh, we, we are, I ask you some questions about the conversation, right? So I am not going to, to ask you the questions uh, or just before. Amaira, today is your turn for the one-on-one -on -one session, right? Session. Yes, all right, yes, perfect. Teacher. You ready? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect, that's very good. All right, uh, so let me uh, share here. <coughs> Okay, um, so look, uh, in this, um, so here we have the conversation, but look, I, I am not going to ask you the questions because we answer some questions, okay, about the conversation. I want you right now, I want you to focus on this part. This is on page number 30, okay? This uh, information is about HR 
personal, okay? It's about HR personal. So uh, the idea is that you read the information. Sorry, I went too far. The idea is that you read the information and answer the questions here, all right? Yeah? So please read the information and answer the three questions on exercise number five, okay? So do it individually, please. Esto lo vamos a hacer individual. Do it individually, please. D please. This is on page number 30, okay? Page number 30. Okay, let's work. I repeat, page number 30, okay? So read and answer the questions, please. <clears throat> Finish the game. How was the score? It's zero, zero. 
it's, it's still good. Aún es, aún es bueno, aunque no es el mejor, pero está bien, it's okay. It's a good... It's a good it's score. Good it's a good score. It's, aunque it's pienso, excellent teacher. It's an excellent Porque score. No nos dieron una goleada. Sí, aunque yo siento yeah. que aquí, aquí, aquí tendrían que haber sumado puntos, pero me imagino que estuvo difícil el partido. I imagine the, the match was difficult. Tendré que verlo en reprise. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's bad for the United States because they visit... They visit? Who do they visit? United States visit is bad for today. Yeah, that's right, definitely. I agree. Yeah. <clears throat> the, the USA is team number one in CONCACAF. Exactly, yeah. exactly. The, actually, they won the, the Gold Cup, right? Yes. Ellos fueron los campeones. So it's, it's a good score. Good. En Canadá y en Honduras también quedaron empate, ¿verdad? They got a, a draw too. Canadá y Honduras. Oh. The next game is Sunday. Eso sí lo voy a ver. Oh, thanks God, it's Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and the game is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. What time? Five o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll watch that one too. Vamos a ver ese también. Don't worry. Ese día lo voy a dejar ver el partido, ¿ok? Yeah. <laughs> Porque es a las 5. Porque es a las 5. Because it's at 5, ¿ok? Ok, very good. So, did you finish answering the questions? Yes, no? Or you are still working? O estaban terminando de ver lo último del partido. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Finished. Finished. Terminaron. Did you finish? Yes. Yes. All right. So let me pass the attendance quickly. Okay. Déjenme pasar rápido la, la asistencia. Okay. Let me look for the book in the meantime. Okay. Let me look for the book here quickly. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so what page is it? ¿Qué página es? What page is it? Refresh me, please. 30, right? 30, yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, let me check here. All right, very good. So uh, let's check the questions quickly. But before we check the questions, let me pass the attendance, okay? Antes de revisar, vamos a pasar asistencia. We will pass the attendance, okay? Ada? Present. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Asalia Melanie? Present. Darwin? Present teacher. Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Carla? Margarita? Mayra? Present. Miguel? Nelson? Present. All right. Ofelia? Here, teacher. All right. Osmin? Here, teacher. Rosa? Present. Sandra? I'm, I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay. Uh, Rafa? Yes. Okay, okay, Rafa. Thank you. Sandra? She's not here, right? Okay, uh, Jansi? Present. Zulma? Present. Very good. Elwin? Ingrid? Ingrid was connected for a moment, right? I think she's still connected. Okay, um, Oscar? Uh, Lourdes not. Ah, sorry, Lourdes. I'm sorry. Mm. Lourdes. Yes. Yes, thank 
Oscar and Susana, not connected, right? Okay, uh, let's check quickly, all right? So basically, uh, you were supposed to answer uh, three questions, right? Am I mistaken? Three questions, okay? So question number one is, what does the recruitment coordinator do? Who has the answer for this question? Who has the answer? Choose Organize a schedule of candidate interviews. All right, re repeat, please. Organizes a schedule of candidate interviews. All right, very good. Uh, do you have any other answer? Opens and post requisitions. All right, very good. Any other answer? Um, coordinate internal and internet job positions and work with and supports a recruiting team. All right, very good. So we have different different ones, right? Because as you can see, we have a big list, okay? Very good. Uh, so let's see. So we can have different answers, okay? So let's see question number two. What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? The recruitment coordinator's experience. What experience he does he or she need? Yeah? Five years. Five, five years. years. Five years of experience, exactly. Five years of experience. And the last question. When does the recruitment coordinator work? When? A weekend? Week, weekdays. Oh, weekend. No, weekdays. 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 No. Weekdays. 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 Not weekends, okay. Weekdays. Or from Monday, <laughs> from Monday to Friday. We can say weekdays from Monday to Friday, right? Obviously. All right, very good. That's excellent. Okay, everyone. So uh, basically, it's 10 1 already. It's time, all right? And I don't want to take your time. Good. So, um, siempre, eh, como siempre, vamos avanzando en las tareas, ok, a tiempo, así como lo hicimos esta semana que pasó, para que no se nos acumule, ok. Así que sigamos de la misma manera, trabajando cada día, working each day, ok. So, everyone, okay. thank you very much for connecting. Only um, Mayra stays, right? Only Mayra stays, ok. The rest, thank you for connecting today. Yo sé que arriesgaron thank mucho. You, Yo sé que se esforzaron muchísimo en quedarse muchos, ok. <laughs> I sé que querían ver el partido también. I know. And thank you very much. I appreciate that. Aprecio mucho eso. I appreciate that. Okay. So thank you very much. Goodbye thank and good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
how 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 exactly it's like it's like i mean it's the same to say how do you feel okay what do you feel like es lo mismo it's the same solo mm -hmm. que cambio el sentido de la del la estructura o uso otra cosa para hacer la misma pregunta mm -hmm. pero y será que uno es como más informal que el otro o uno se utiliza más en el día a día Ajá, hablando de formalidad, el like es un poquito menos informal, por supuesto. Okay? Hey, uh, what are you like? Is more informal, es más informal. Uh -huh. Y el how, obviamente, es más, más formal. Si lo ponemos en formalidad, ¿ok? Mm. Ya. Yeah. Sí, porque es, en mi caso es la primera vez que escucho utilizarlo así. Sí, sí. Se, se usa bastante. De, de hecho, los, eh, en los Estados Unidos se usa muchísimo esa estructura. Hey, what's your sis ah. like? Or how do you feel? Uh, what do you feel like? Mm -hmm. Or ah, what's, okay. what's your brother like? What's your brother like? Mm -hmm. Esta es como um, también una estructura que utilizamos el módulo pasado que creo que era what y for. Sí, um, estoy, ajá. Como para qué. Exactly, exactly. Normal. Sí, aquí se vuelve una preposición en realidad. Ajá, en realidad, cuando usamos preposiciones o algunos verbos que usan preposiciones, se ponen al final. Eh, otro ejemplo es, está el de for, ¿ok? Uh, podríamos decir, uh, what company do you work for? ¿Ok? What company do you work for? ¿Para qué compañía trabajas? Pero en este caso, el what sí tiene traducción cuando lo pasamos a español. Y en el otro caso ya, ya pierde su, su sentido en español, ¿ok? En este caso sí se puede. What, uh, what Do you work, or what company do you work for? ¿Para qué? Ese what for es para qué. No se pone a la par así como en español, sino que el for se pone al final o al principio. No vamos a decir for what company do you work. Se entiende, ¿ok? Pero no es lo correcto, no es la forma gramatical correcta, ¿ok? O sea que sería como que si utilizáramos el looking for también. Exactly. Que creo que el for va al final cuando decimos exactly. looking. Exactly. Uh, what are you no, looking for? No, no. Ajá, para, para, la, para la música, por ejemplo. ¿Qué música estás escuchando? What kind of music are you listening to? Le ponemos el tú al final. Ajá. Sí, y también está el caso bien común que es el de who. Cuando usamos el with, ¿con quién? Ah, okay. El with, el with significa con, ¿verdad? W-I-T-H, with. Ese se pone uh -huh. al final. Imagínate que yo te pregunto... Ah, ¿Con quién estás viendo el partido ahorita? Si sí, estaba viendo el partido. Entonces uh -huh. voy a preguntarte. Who are you watching the soccer match with? Ese with va al final. Y se traduce con quién. Who with. Solo que el with va al final, no va, la, no va antes de, del with. No vamos a decir with who are you watching the game, no. Who are you watching the game with? O who are you talking with? Who are you playing soccer With, who are you working with? Ok. Uh -huh. sí. Ajá, ese es el, el, el sentido de esa estructura. Dice, y de estas las vamos a volver a ver en este módulo más adelante. Mm, ese tipo de preguntas. Ajá. Eh, sinceramente no he revisado las demás unidades, a ver si aparecen. Ah. Ajá. Pero, eh, porque ya veo que son dos que hacen la consulta. Lo que podríamos dejar es un espacio para revisar más o menos así todos juntos algunas estructuras de esas. Y voy a anotar sí, por porque, acá. Porque se utilizan, o sea, son bien eh, tradicionales o comunes, al menos en el español utilizarlas. Correctamente. Uh -huh. para revisar estructuras sí. con prepositions al final. Lo voy a anotar por acá para que no se me olvide, si no se me olvida. Y lo podemos revisar con todos, ¿ok? Para que así todos... Sí, porque ese tema realmente es muy, es muy importante. Okay, es muy importante sí. y hasta cierto punto con, puede tender a confundirnos también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, lo podemos okay. revisar todos, todos juntos como clase. Ok, buenísimo, teacher. Ok, so do you have any other uh, question? No, solo esas. Ok, very good. So, um, so Mayra, thank you very much for staying in the one-on-one -on -one session. Ok, I know it was a big effort for you. Okay. All right, so thank, thank you very you. much. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Good night. Good night.